Hello everybody, welcome to So Many Games So Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be talking about this small box game, Deep Sea Adventure. It's a game that I really like, spoiler alert, and it's a game that's also super accessible. It's a filler game, you play it very you don't have to play for very long, it doesn't overstay its welcome at all. And you can play with basically anybody. You can play it with uh, younger kids, you can play with older people, you can play with people your age range, it really doesn't matter. It, the rules are very straightforward, it is a lot of fun, and it's another push your luck game, and I really like push your luck games. So let's see what it's all about, shall we? Let's take a look at the rules, and then I'll tell you why I like this game so much. Okay, so this is a Deep Sea Adventure. The setup is now complete. As you can see, I reduced the number of players from six to three to make setup easier. Also, I will put out three markers. This is for purple, this is for orange, and this is for yellow to keep track. Normally, this is not necessary because everybody will have their own piece, but it's just to keep track of who has taken what during this example of game gameplay, okay? So, first of all, what we're going to do is reduce air, but no one has gone down, so no need to reduce air yet. Secondly, is the second thing we need to do is choose whether we're still going down or we're going back up. Change the direction of our diver. This is not necessary either because we haven't left the submarine yet, okay? So, <clears throat> thirdly, we roll the dice. There are two dice. The dice have values from one to three. So the highest you can roll is a 6, the lowest you can roll is a 2. So let's roll for purple. Purple has a 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now purple can decide. Purple has three options. They can do nothing and just stay there. They can pick up the ruins chip. So let's do that as an example. So hop, this goes away and then you take an empty token from the stack. Now, this token has a value on the bottom but you cannot look at it until you go back to the submarine. So you never really know how much you have until you get back. Just look at it as you have treasure, but you don't know the value yet. Okay, you need to research it when you get back. So this is for purple. So we'll put it next to, on top of the purple pile. There you go. Now, the third action that purple could have done is put this token back later on in the game. Now, of course, Purple has already chosen the action to pick it up, so obviously they're not going to put it back. You can only do one of those actions. So do nothing, pick up the chip, or place a ruins chip. So, so the ruins chip is this one, you would put it back. Alright, that's done. Now it's time for orange. So, there's no need to sh choose a direction or do the uh, oxygen. So, just going to roll. It rolls a 2. So, 1, 2. Uh, orange decides to do nothing. Uh, so no picking up, no putting back, no nothing. So then it's time for yellow. Yellow has three. So one, two, three. Now yellow has the option once again to pick up, but yellow decides to do nothing. So then it's time for the next round. So technically purple has one piece of treasure. So now purple has to reduce the oxygen by one. So we're at 25, now it's 24. Remember the oxygen is for everybody. Okay? Well, actually I haven't said that yet. The oxygen is for everybody, it's shared. So everybody only has 24 now. So uh, purple reduced it. Now purple has the option to either continue going down or to turn around and head back. Now, of course, purple wants to have some more treasure, so it decides to continue and roll the die. All right, so purple rolls three, but purple is carrying one treasure. So it's three minus one, so it's two. So one, two. For every piece of treasure that you carry, it's minus one in your, on your roll. 
Purple decides not to pick it up just yet and wait. Next is yellow. Yellow is carrying not. Uh, next is orange. Sorry, orange is carrying nothing, so they don't have to reduce the oxygen, and they're not going back because they don't have treasure yet. So four, one, two, three, four. And notice again how you don't count the tiles where people are on already. So orange is there and decides to pick it up. All right. So it goes over here for orange. So that's it. Time for yellow. Yellow we roll. Three, one, two, three. And yellow sees level two now. Nothing much changes, but yellow decides to pick it up. And also here. All right, now it's purple's turn. Once again, purple is carrying one, so minus one. 23 left for everybody. Purple decides to go deeper down. So it's three minus one is two. One, two. Purple decides to pick it up. Yep. There he goes. So purple now has two items. Yellow goes down one and decides to roll. Three minus one is two. One, two. And decides to pick it up again. Uh, okay, technically it should be orange turn, sorry. So it's three, minus one is two, so one, two. So let's say this is orange roll, one, two. So orange will take it. Not much of a difference. Yellow doesn't trust these guys at all. First of all, minus one. So yellow says, no, I'm gonna turn back. You can only turn back once per round. So if once you've chosen, that's it. You cannot turn back again. So five minus one is four. One, two, three, four. Now, yellow is unlucky because they cannot pick it up. They can put something back, but that would be counterproductive at this point, so they don't. Back to purple. Purple is carrying two, so minus two, down to 18. Purple is getting scared as well, so purple says, I'm gonna turn back. Four minus two, it's only two. One, two. That's it, they don't drop anything. Orange, also carrying two, minus two. And suddenly we're at 16. So, um, orange decides to turn back as well. Since everybody's turning back, then they don't risk anything. Six minus two is four. One, two, three, four. Can't pick anything up, sadly. Yellow, minus one. Oh, down to 16 now, sorry, I misread. So six, wow. So minus one, one, two, three, four. Yellow is has reached the end. Purple time, minus two. Yep. So minus two for purple. They only move one spot, but purple decides to risk it and pick it up. That means now when it's purple's turn, it will always be minus three. All right, orange has two, so minus two. So they move three. One, two, three. They also decide to pick it up because they're really close to the exit now. Okay, yellow has finished, so it doesn't matter. Um, back to purple, minus three. One, two, three. We're down to nine. So the roll is minus three and the maximum is six. Four, so they only move one. Orange, also minus three. One, two, three. It's gonna be tight. Four minus three is only one. And they cannot drop anything, remember? Because they're not on an empty spot. Back to purple, minus three. Hup. Two, they don't even move now. And purple cannot drop anything. Back to orange, down to three. Note that it's zero now. But orange can still do their turn. So. Purple, for sure, will not survive, but orange, if they roll a five, sorry, if they roll a six, then they're home free. No, so orange and purple both die. Yellow stays and can check what they picked up. They picked up four points. Okay, now what happens now? First of all, we take away all the empty spots, okay? There we go, all the empty spots are now gone. Then 
we add the pieces, everything moves forward. So it effectively makes the journey down shorter, right? And not only that, but the pieces that were picked up are being put back. So the farthest down was purple. So purple's pieces, they have three, right? You put it at the end. So always in stacks of three. So one, two, three. Purple can decide in which order it's being put down. And then orange, they also have three. So it's always in stacks of three. Had they had more than three, it would, you would just make a new stack. Now in the next round, because you play three, three rounds, right? In the next round, if someone gets to here and they pick it up, it does not count as three, it just counts as one. So you get three for the price of one. So you know if you play a second round and a third round, this will become much shorter and there will be more of these piles. And that is how you play uh, Deep Sea Adventure. At the end of three rounds, of course, you check who has the most points and that person wins. And that's how you play. Okay, first of all, this game is very cute. All the components are really, really nice. They feel nice. They're of great quality, even though it's a small box game. Um, and, I don't know, everybody who sees it immediately looks at the little meeples. They look at the submarine. It just really appeals to people. It also looks really nice on the table. You can have the tokens go in different patterns. So, you know, it's not always like the snake style. Um, to make it, you know, to change it up a little bit. And gameplay wise, it's just push your luck. And the fact that you can also sabotage other people, if you know that you're not going to make it, just quickly pick up as much treasure as you can so it slows down and people might not make it to the end. We literally had a game like a week ago where we had three rounds where no one survived. Everybody ended with zero points because there's always someone who was trying to stop the others and it was still a lot of fun because um, I ended up twice in two rounds I ended up uh, totally having to rely on my last die roll to decide whether or not I would make it back to the submarine and twice the dice failed me but then if they hadn't I would have won and it would have been a grand feeling but this time of course the feeling went to the other people who were like yay didn't make it so these kind of moments in board gaming they're awesome you know that's where you go for the the memorable stories the 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 bursts of joy i guess and uh yeah this game i really really like it and i would suggest it to anybody it's a nice filler game it won't take up too much of your time but you will have fun you'll probably mo play more than once and uh, yeah for sure definitely play it and i'm sure you won't regret it